but it is now the day that I must start and finish packing. So I decided I wrote up my helpful little list here. So I have a list of things that I needed um, that were useful and then I'll go through things that I thought I needed but turns out I didn't need. I didn't end up getting it or I have it and it wasn't useful. Number one need, uh, fridge. I have this small mini fridge from home. Um, and so I didn't end up buying a new one. It's just super helpful because I like to just get vegetables from like Trader Joe's just so I can have it on hand or refrigerate stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. Secondly, for something I needed was I like using this memory foam topper for my bed just because it's fine, but it just can be a little like hard. Oh, my hangers aren't in here. Fine. They're in the box below, but um, pretend there are hangers in there. I think hangers are they're useful, um, but I did end up buying it here. I didn't pack it because I didn't have that much storage space. Next off, something else I needed. It was nice having a desk lamp. I just brought it. Mine's from home. Uh, super nice and convenient. Um, next, what was super helpful is bowls, utensils, and to-go containers. So I probably had like two bowls throughout this year, and then I just have like one set of utensils. And then I got these two to-go containers throughout the year because I started to make my own lunch. And then I have like one more plastic one. I thought I would need like more bowls, more utensils. Really, you don't. You just need a one person like serving or supply of them. Um, and then definitely the to-go containers because they're just more convenient for snacks. I do keep Ziploc bags on hand, but you know, trying to like reduce plastic and waste overall. Um, next up, a laundry container. I use this blue bag there's a lot of laundry in it and then I would put it in this box to make it stand up um, so I just recommend having some sort of laundry container uh, like a bin that stands up on its own is really helpful I think I've seen collapsible bins that my friends have umbrella um, it rains a lot here any East Coast when it rains it pours and adding on to umbrella my shoes are already packed up but if you're coming to the East Coast it's definitely get a pair of rain boots because when it rains, you don't want your shoes to get wet and also a pair of snow boots. Um, next off, my mother is wonderful and she wrapped me like a nice first aid kit. So um, I didn't really use it this year, but it's just nice to have the first aid that you need on hand, whether it's like Advil, Tylenol, Moltrin, and like just like band-aids that I ended up buying throughout the year because I didn't have any. Um, random things like that, that was definitely useful. Lastly, on my need list, I'm gonna put up this cute little calendar that my friend made me from home. I usually do use Google Calendar, but I just loved it. Like I could just like flip it every time I see like a picture from home or like my friends. Um, so it was just nice to have a calendar because it just reminds me of home. And actually, lastly, speaking of whiteboards, I got a whiteboard when I first came here, and it was nice, but honestly, I don't think I used it as often as I expected, just because I really wasn't in my room that often to need it. Um, but it was nice. I would like do practice problems on there, or, like write some encouragement or things to me. Um, but if you really like doing a whiteboard, you like hanging things up, I highly recommend it. Um, it can be like an investment that you can use for all, for all four years. Okay, and one more thing for need. This is definitely on the more technical side of things, but I use command hooks. You guys all know what that is. To hang up like everything in my room. I think you can't see it, but I use it to hang up lights when I use to have lights there. Um, and I didn't really use anything else for the most part. Oh, I have another thing to add to need. I love having a clock. This is like really badly dusty, sorry. But this is just the Sony clock. Um, it's just convenient because when I wake up, I just wanna look at the time. I don't wanna like go on my phone and check. Now I'll go through the things that I didn't need. Um, so number one, I have this handy dandy water container, which as you can see, it's like evaporated because I don't use it and it's because I'm not in my room enough to always pour water from here. Cause if I wanna get water, I have to walk to the nearby water fountain and fill it. So I have one of these. I also had a hot water heater. Did not use any because it did not have any instant ramen all uh, all semester. Surprise, surprise. So I would say like it's helpful, definitely, if I were to spend more time in my room and actually have the opportunity to go out and get water. But for the most part, I have used that maybe like three times. But I'm going to use it next year because I'm going to have my own place in the kitchen and all that stuff. So it's still going to be important and useful. Secondly, not need. I did not need a lamp. So I thought I was going to need a lamp because when you move in, it's so dim. Most of this lighting is coming from my desk lamp. And then I also have one more super dim lamp over there. It's that thing. It's like virtually useless. And I was like, you know what? Like I want good lighting. Like I want to like read and like, I don't know. I spend a lot of time in my room. Like, no, you don't need a lamp. Okay. It's nice, but I'm glad I don't have to worry about it now that I'm moving out. I survived the whole semester with very dim lighting. Totally fine. Cause a lot of the times I didn't study in my room. So I would say, you know, if you have maybe a bigger room, like, okay, sure. get a lamp because my room is pretty small. It doesn't need it, but that was just an investment I didn't need. Secondly, this is kind of like a not need slash optional, but a microwave. Um, you definitely think you need it because you're like, you know what? Like I want to have like a lot of frozen food, a lot of frozen meals and it'd be useful. And I agree. Like 
it's really convenient to have but I think throughout the year maybe I used it like six or seven times so I'm gonna use it a lot next year either way but I would say it's kind of an optional thing you know you, if you and your roommate want it like you can get it but Allison didn't have a microwave Chantel didn't have a microwave other people didn't have a microwave and they were able to use microwaves in their lounges my friend Vian burnt used the microwave in our lounge and burnt pizza and set off the fire alarm and everyone in the quad had to evacuate there are microwaves in public spaces for students to use next I did not need a printer. I thought I needed a printer. I did not. Um, I have a lot of friends who do have printers in the room, so sometimes I'll ask them to help me print things, but for the most part, it turned to be more of a hassle, um, such as like refilling ink, things die, you don't know what's going on. I print at Huntsman or at our uh, computer lab in the quad, and I probably spent maybe like $30 in printing this year because I really like to print out my lecture slides before classes, but compared to buying a printer for maybe like $50 and upwards and having to worry about paper and ink. I think it's a much better deal just to print wherever you can on campus There are also different places where you can get printing for free. Um, so that's pretty convenient as well So did I get a printer? I'm happy I didn't because I don't have to worry about that Clothes you think you need a lot of clothes and you know, it's college You want to like look nice and all that stuff, but I bought a lot of clothes I'm not gonna bring a lot of it back be very frugal in like the clothes that you decide to bring to college Wow, like I just realized like this is not the most ideal like shooting situation, but you know, we're moving, things are messy, it is okay. Next off, I would say bedding. So you're like, oh, it's winter, it's really cold. You need to like bring like thick blankets, a duvet, all that stuff. Nah, -uh, dude. Um, there's a heater and an air conditioner in here and it will change for the time of year. So in general, my rooms like sp stayed like pretty warm during the winter, pretty cool during the summer. I've just like used like this quilt thing all year and like I'm perfectly fine with it. You really don't need too much. Like two pairs of, two sets of sheets so that you can use them while you're washing the other like one or two blankets, I don't know, max. Um, really don't bring too much, because bedding does take up a lot of space. Lastly, I say, one thing that's kind of optional for me is a musical instrument, like the uke. I brought the uke, or I originally wanted to bring my guitar, but I couldn't fit it, so I brought the uke. And I would say that there are definitely months where I go without playing it, just because things get so busy. And I kind of put this on this not need, because it's kind of a medium, you know, decide how much you're gonna play it, how much it actually means to you. I think overall that like covers the most important things that I wish I knew, things I wish I didn't bring. I can't believe how much random stuff I've accumulated throughout this year as I'm cleaning up right now. So definitely just like be careful, you know, don't bring too much. It's hard to bring it back afterwards, especially if you're traveling from far away. Another thing like I have this like crazy drawer, okay, ignore the money, with like all of like my Tombos and like my wall and like all my washi tape and all that stuff. I love my stationery. I love like just like bullet journaling and doing all that but it was just way too much so that's another thing if you have a lot of stationery and pens just like don't don't bring it all bring what you need uh, leave the rest at home so I'm having a friend come and pick up my stuff tomorrow but that means that I really need to pack up now and it's just like it's crazy to me and I don't want to do it but I know I should so yeah I'll do it this lighting is like pretty good too okay